With more and more governments around the world removing COVID rules, a new research frontier is starting to emerge to help us fight the virus. Scientists are trying to predict future variants by using a petri dish and artificial intelligence. One Kiwi researcher called Dr William Kelton from Waikato University is doing this very thing at the moment and he's had some early success. Hi William, thanks for explaining all this to us. So how on earth are you predicting how COVID might behave in the future? Good evening. Um, so one of the biggest problems with the coronavirus at the moment is just the vast number of potential ways that it could mutate. And this is one of the reasons, or one of the ways in which we get these variants arising. And so our thought was to take um, parts of the virus, not the live virus itself, into the lab and artificially create lots and lots of mutations, like billions of them in fact. And what we did after that was screen to see how well they might be able to uh, bind to the, the part of human cells that allows the virus to get inside. And at, at this point, this is where AI comes in, or artificial intelligence. And this allowed us to sort through all of these possible mutations to try and understand which mutations allow the virus to get into cells, potentially, and which uh, do not. So you're picking winners, right? Um, so how can we use this information to help us fight COVID? Sure, so uh, one of the other things that we, we did in the research was have a look and see how a lot of these mutations might uh, enable the virus to escape antibodies. And, and we use antibodies as uh, drugs and they've been relatively successful, but have been working less and less well as the pandemic has gone on. Uh, and so part of this research enables us to profile just how well some of our drugs and tools might work against uh, future variants before they even arise. So we can use it to help formulate some future drugs, perhaps? Yes, that that's absolutely would be the aim. And one option would be to um, be able to pull some of the predicted variants together as a, a vaccine. And we sort of do a similar thing with uh, the influenza vaccine at the moment, uh, where we sort of take our best guess of variants uh, ahead of the season. And so, yeah, we're really hopeful that this sort of technology uh, and research will, will lead to those solutions. And our vaccines are waning in effectiveness now, aren't they? Because they were formulated on that original alpha variant. We could use them to make some better vaccines. Yes, that, that would absolutely be the idea. So instead of being a bit reactive, um, potentially we could try and get in front of where the virus is mutating, um, make some predictions, and then that, that could help inform a, a better vaccine in the future. And, and that's where we think the research is headed. OK, William, well, here in New Zealand, we've got rid of masks, pretty much got rid of all the rules. How important is this kind of research in this next COVID phase? Yes, absolutely. So uh, a lot of the tools that we've used to date, um, well, we're not able to employ anymore. And so therefore, I, I really think the, the future is going to be in how we design our future vaccines and other drugs in order to combat um, variants as they arise. Dr William Calton, hopefully you will save us all. A researcher and lecturer at Waikato University's School of Health, Dr William Calton, thank you. Thank you.